In this tutorial, we'll see how you can do basic video editing on an Android phone or tablet using the free version of an app called Video Show. This video was inspired by Emmy Artworld, a young artist who posts awesome speed drawings on her YouTube channel. If you want to see how to speed up videos on your Android device, make sure to stick around till the end of this video, because we'll be using another application for that, as Video Show does not have that option. Video editing is the main option we'll be using, but we'll get to that in a second. First we'll take a quick look on the other tools that this application has. We have the photo video option which is the same as video editing, but it only allows you to create and edit picture slideshows. Next to that we have the shoot video option which activates your phone camera to shoot a new video. Below that you have my studio which opens your most recent projects. Last but not least, you have the Tools option, which allows you to do quick video trimming and to save video sounds as mp3 files. Now let's open the video editing tool and see an example. First off, we select the video that we want to edit. Now I'm going to add a picture to that, which I'm going to position at the end of my video. Now we press the next arrow that's positioned in the top right side of our screen. Now with the video selected, we're going to use our trim tool to make the video a bit shorter. When that's done, we press the check mark on the top right side of our screen. Now we're going to use the text tool to add some text to our video. Now we're going to add some music to our timeline. The song that I'm going to import is downloaded from the YouTube audio library. Next we're going to add some transitions to our video. Unfortunately, we can only choose one. For the last thing, we're going to add a visual effect to our video. To export the video, tap the icon in the top right corner of your screen. Then you'll be giving the option to keep the quality or to compress the quality of your video. After you're done editing, you can share your video through your favorite social networks. Now all that's left is to see the final result. When it comes to cons, I can definitely think of a few things that the developers could have added or done differently. On the other hand, we have to keep in mind that this is a low weight mobile video editor, so we can't really blame it for not being Adobe Premiere. But I will mention two obvious cons. The first one is something that you'll probably realize very quickly. The editor doesn't support some usual file types like 3GPP. However, it can open mp4 files, so anything you record with your phone camera is probably good. The second con I'll mention is the timeline. Because of its small size, it's really hard to do precise trimming and to add multiple subtitles. 
But like I said, it is a mobile application after all, and for quick and simple editing on the road, it surely does the job. If you are a speed drawer and you would like to edit your videos on your mobile device, unfortunately it doesn't allow you to change the playback speed. For this, you can use another Android application that has a variety of editing tools, but you can only use one per video, and that's the biggest con. It's called Android Studio, and for this time, we'll just see how you can use it to speed up your videos. The free version of Android Studio doesn't allow advanced editing, so we're going to open the simple editing option, then we're going to browse for our video and select it. Then you'll see a big list of editing options, but we're just going to open the one we need to change the playback speed. Now we can choose a selection that we want to edit and then tap the check mark icon in the top right corner. Now we can increase the speed and hit OK. The process will be added to the queue and once it finishes loading, the video will be saved in the output folder. So if you like posting speed drawing videos to your YouTube channel and you would like to edit your videos on your mobile device, you can use Android Studio to speed up the footage and then finish off the editing with Video Show. Talking about speed drawers, I gotta give a shout out to Emmy Artworks once again. She gave me the idea for this tutorial and I hope it helps her out at least a bit. So go and check out her videos and if you like speed drawings, be sure to subscribe. You won't regret it. So that's all from me. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe to me as well. Scroll down and leave a comment and a like. I'll see you soon.